The British royal family is one of the oldest and wealthiest families in the world. With the expensive royal weddings, ceremonies, mansions, castles, art collections and pieces of jewellery, one cannot help but notice the luxurious lifestyle that every member of the family showcases. Over the course of their long reign, the British royal family has amassed a large number of properties, jewels, works of art and other items. Therefore, the royal family's wealth is undeniable. How much do you think the British royal family is worth? Keep watching to find out. Although the British royal family is wealthy, where does their money come from exactly? Let's try and analyse it and shed some light on the wealth they have accumulated. Property The family's real estate assets are one of the biggest sources of the British royal family's wealth. It's also one of the hardest to evaluate. The Duchy of Cornwall, Balmoral Castle, Sandringham Country Estate and Windsor Castle are just a few of the well-known real estate holdings that the British monarch holds. This list also includes London's Buckingham Palace, which has an area of 830,000 square feet. For several reasons, it's quite challenging to assign a monetary worth to certain of the monarch's possessions. First of all, not all of the monarch's properties, whether in the UK or elsewhere, are disclosed to the public. Second, the majority of these properties date back to hundreds of years ago and have never been purchased or sold by the royal family. For instance, King George III purchased today's Buckingham Palace in 1761 as a residence for his wife, Queen Charlotte. Last but not least, given the British monarch owns these estates, they undoubtedly have untold worth in the eyes of investors and would not be regarded as ordinary property. Now, let's take a look at some of these properties owned by the British monarch. The Duchy of Lancaster The Duchy of Lancaster is a large plot of land, property and assets that generates income for the Duke of Lancaster. You might be wondering who the Duke of Lancaster is. The Duke of Lancaster is the British monarch, so King Charles III, the current Duke of Lancaster, while his mother, late Queen Elizabeth II, was the former Duke of Lancaster. Back to the gist. With 45,550 acres of British land, the Duchy of Lancaster is one of the largest and oldest estates in the United Kingdom. The land's estimated worth is $748 million and in 2021 it had a net income of roughly $25 million. That's not all of the properties owned by the monarch. Duchy of Cornwall There is also the Duchy of Cornwall. The Duchy of Cornwall is a large area of land in southwest England that is not directly owned by the monarch but rather his or her successor. Again, a direct evaluation of worth is challenging, although the duchy declared an operational profit of £24.6 million, about $31.3 million, for the fiscal year that ended on March 31, 2022. What a whopping sum! We're not done yet. The Sandringham House in Norfolk, England, which Forbes estimates to be worth $65 million, is one of the personal possessions owned by King Charles by right of the Crown. These properties bring in a significant amount of money in revenue. However, that's not all. We also have the Crown Estate and Royal Collections, which are trust funds owned by the monarch. The Crown Estate The Crown Estate is a real estate business that includes a major chunk of property around the United Kingdom. Yes, the Crown Estate belongs to the British monarch, but technically it's not solely theirs, it merely belongs to the monarch for the duration of their reign. The monarch surrenders the revenue from the estate to the Treasury each year for the benefit of the nation's finances in exchange for the sovereign grant. 25% of the Crown's estate earnings are allocated to the grant. The Crown Estate raked in a net profit of £442 million in 2022, 
which is £130 million higher than what it made in the previous year. If you want to be part of our family, quickly subscribe to our channel so we can keep spilling the royalty. The Royal Collection The King does not directly own the Royal Collection, rather as sovereign, he holds it in a trust for his heirs and the country. There are more than a million pieces of art in the Royal Collection. It contains the contents of 13 royal residences and former residences located throughout the UK, the majority of which are frequently open to the public, allowing visitors to view the artwork in the authentic surroundings for which it was first purchased many centuries ago. Numerous works of ornamental art, paintings, drawings, miniatures and photographs are included in the collection. Amongst them are artworks from Leonardo da Vinci, Artemisia, Gentilici, Raphael, Caravaggio and Rembrandt. Let's take a look at some of the Royal Collections and their worth. Serves Porcelain Collection The Royal Family possesses the greatest collection of Serves Porcelain in the world, which numbers more than 500 items. Serves Porcelain from the early 20th century typically sells for between $4,000 and $8,000, but outstanding pieces can get considerably more. Leonardo da Vinci Drawings One of the most well-known artists and polymaths of all time was Leonardo da Vinci, and the British monarch owns a staggering 600 of his sketches, which is regarded as the world's best collection of drawings by Leonardo da Vinci. The anatomical illustration of the shoulder arm and foot bones is part of one of the sketches. It can be viewed in the Queen's Gallery at Buckingham Palace and was drawn in ink circa 1510 to 1511. Imagine what 600 drawings of the famous artist would be worth if a single tiny da Vinci sketch went for $12.2 million in July 2021. Michelangelo Drawings At least 20 works by renowned artist Michelangelo are included in the Royal Collection, including The Resurrection, which was created in 1532. At auctions, Michelangelo's drawings can sell for tens of millions of dollars. Fabergé Eggs The original Fabergé egg was commissioned by Peter Karl Fabergé from Russian Tsar Nicholas II. It was delivered in 1933 to Queen Mary and is now on display at Buckingham Palace. At least four of the 57 Fabergé eggs that were made are still in existence, the mosaic egg, the colonnade egg, the 12-panel egg and the basket of flowers egg belong to the Royal Collection. Recall that every year the monarch pays the treasury the proceeds from the Crown Estate. Sovereign Grant Yes, the government returns it to them as a sovereign grant. The sovereign grant is a lump sum of money the king receives annually from the government. In addition to paying for official obligations, it covers expenses for things like royal staff, salaries, travel and upkeep of the palaces. 25% of the Crown's estate earnings are allocated for the grant. For 2022 to 2023, the sovereign grant is £86.3 million, about $109.8 million. The sovereign grant is not the only source of the monarch's income. There's still more. So, let's dig in. The Crown Jewels The Crown Jewels are yet another significant source of wealth for Britain's ruling family. You'll probably already know that the British monarchy and the Crown are associated with a variety of opulent pieces of jewellery. The Crown Jewels are a collection of regal adornments, such as crowns, scepters and many valuable and rare pieces of jewellery. Let's take a look at some of the Crown Jewels owned by the British royal family. The Koh-i-Noor Diamond One of the most well-known of the Crown Jewels is the 105.6 carat Koh-i-Noor Diamond, which, 
depending on the perspective of historical sources, was either given to Queen Victoria or captured by the British in the middle of the 19th century. The Kohinoor diamond and other crown jewels are extremely rare and it is difficult to esteem their exact worth. Their connection to the British royal family significantly boosts their value. For instance, a flawless 100 carat diamond went up for auction in 2015, brought nearly $22 million. Not to talk of the jewels in the monarch's collection, to give one example of a jewel in the monarchy's collection, the Kohinoor, it is possible that it would sell for a lot more money. This is due to the diamond's high worth as a result of its connection to the royal family and the importance that other governments have assigned to it. Since India's declaration of independence in 1947, the governments of Iran, Afghanistan, India and Pakistan have all asserted ownership of the diamond and asked for its return. But the British government maintains that it has a 176-year-old treaty, legal authority to do so. The Black Prince's Ruby In the Maltese Cross, in the front of England's imperial state crown, is a sizeable red gem set known as the Black Prince's Ruby. In the 14th century, it was given to Edward of Woodstock, also referred to as the Black Prince. It's called a ruby since spinels and rubies weren't recognised as separate gems until the 18th century. The jewel's value is unclear, but it is the biggest uncut spinel known to exist. The Cullinan Diamond The largest uncut diamond of gem quality ever found, the Cullinan Diamond, was found in South Africa in 1905. After some time, it was given to King Edward VII, who had it divided into 19.5 carats of unpolished chunks, 90 minor stones and 9 big stones. The crown jewels contained two of the big stones, while the late Queen Elizabeth II possessed the remaining seven. Cullinan I, the largest stone, is thought to be valued at at least $400 million or more. Now, let's talk about the Church of England, where the British monarch is the supreme governor. The Church of England Although one cannot actually own a particular religious movement, the British monarchy has been in charge of the Church of England since King Henry VIII severed ties with the Roman Catholic Church in 1534. With a market value of $11.97 billion, the Church of England is one of the richest religious institutions in the world. It is unknown how much, if at all, the royal family might profit monetarily from their position. The Church of England, however, is a large financial institution. In its 2022 annual report, the Church stated that its total income was 148.4 million pounds, or around 188.79 million dollars, as of December the 31st, 2022. The British royal family's wealth is one that cannot be quantified, with the different investments and assets linked to the British monarch. One thing becomes abundantly clear, their wealth is as rich and intricate as their history. What do you think about the British royal family and how much they are worth? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Click here to watch more videos and thanks for watching. See you in the next video.